theme for this week was mixed media and create a scene. Hey, it's Tanya, and I thought before I got going with this background, I would just show you what I've done so far because I didn't record it. So let me show you if I come up close. Can you see those butterflies? They are made with this stuff which I discovered in in my box. It says there's string gel. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to do with string gel, but it says, it says on the back, if I can find the English version, it says it's a gel with honey-like consistency. It enhances the depth of colour and increases transparency. And blah de blah de blah and you can mix it with acrylic colours for interesting applications and effects. Do not mix with oils and yeah, you can make streaks and things with it. What I thought I would do is put it through a stencil, which is a butterfly stencil, and see if it will resist the colour. Oh no! Thinking outside the box there, aren't I? And here is another stencil and I just smushed texture paste through. And now my idea... Let's get it into frame. My idea is to... I'm thinking of going with these kind of colours. We got this in a hip kit some time back. Sort of the yellows and the oranges because I'm figuring I might do a safari layout. And I also have peerless watercolours, which I thought they're actually, you know, I haven't used these nearly enough. And they are really vibrant and beautiful and yeah, I'm sure I can do some lovely effects with those. That is the theory. Now, whether in practice, I just want to show you what else I might be using, because I love these. We got these in the August colour add-on for hip kits, and ugh, they're just so much fun. Just really a lot of fun to use. So, whoops a daisy. So I'm figuring I'm going to do something like that. It's probably going to end up a complete disaster, as most of my mixed media does. But you know what happens if you have a disaster? You just get the good old white paint and just all over it. And it looks kind of cool. One other thing before I get going, I just want to show you something which I thought was super cute. Would you look at that? It's actually... Apparently, it's a sunglass sunglass holder, although why people would have four pairs of sunglasses, I do not know. And my, my original idea was I was going to put all my pencils in there, but they're too long. So I decided to put my pens in. And look, it comes out. How cute is that? And it's beautifully strong, and it's not going to go anywhere, and it's pitiful. But those are the only two alcohol markers I have. <laughs> I know. And those are just ordinary pens. So there we go. I now have a pen holder, which I kind of like. So yeah, I'm now just going to get going and speed up the process and <sighs> fingers crossed it turns out okay. <laughs> right, so here I am, as I said, the theme for for my video today was to create a scene and use mixed media. To be honest, I don't think I quite created a scene. I wasn't too sure how to do that, actually, to, you know, to be frank. But I definitely got my mixed media on. And here I am taking those peerless watercolours and first I tried the smushing technique and I didn't really like that. And then I figured, well, maybe I should just paint some of it on. And as you can see, it the resist actually really turns out well. I'm I'm super pleased with that because like I said I wasn't really too sure about that string gel but uh, now that I've got this application with using it I, I'm gonna have fun with it. So now I'm adding some more and right now it looks a bit of a, a bit of a hot mess really and it looks like that for quite some time but I persevere and I really like how it turned out in the end. So, as you can see, now I'm drying it, and I did not gesso the background at all. I think, and it doesn't really buckle that much either, which is which is rather remarkable. But perhaps that's because I'm not putting all that much wet media on. And these oil pastels, Prima oil pastels, are beautiful. The smushing, was it smushing or, or rubbing, rubbing technique with it, I just, I just love 
doing it. It's amazing how a tiny bit of color will go so far. And here I'm just using the baby wipe, not really to mix the color, but more to see that it will come off the, off my butterflies. And those stencils were both we got in previous hip kits. I think both of them were designed by Kim Watson. So now I'm adding some yellow because I've had, I've added orange and I've added another different color orange and now I'm adding yellow. And then I think, hmm, so I think, oh, let's bring in a bit of red because now, now I'm mixing my color. Yes. And getting, oh, feeling ever so crafty and artistic and colorful. Indeed. <laughs> I am I I really really truly enjoyed myself. I'm starting to to explore the side of scrapbooking much more and the reason being to 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 let you know. Oh, and I spray. Yes, I spray with a shimmers. Uh shimmer spray in yellow. I think it says something about no yoking. <laughs> So yes, what I was saying is the reason why I'm doing so many of these mixed media backgrounds at the moment is I am in between kits. I evidently scrap far too fast because <laughs> I have used up all of my September kits and I am currently waiting for my October kits. And yeah, so I've been doing a lot of mixed media backgrounds and then incorporating what I have left over of the September kits. And I figured there was a color theory acrylic paints that the middle part of this is wasn't wasn't looking that great so that's why i bring in a bit of paint thinking that that might even it out a little bit and add a bit more of that nice sort of deeper deeper orangey color because this the reason why i went for these colors and there you see i'm cleaning it off and doesn't it work so well it really did so super tough for that the reason why i'm going with these colors is they're very very african you know african sunset Yes, that was my I that was my idea. Now I'm thinking I need some splatters. So I added some water to my little acrylic paint mix and splattered all over the show. This is actually a brown colour, but I tested it first off camera and it's it's brown, but it's sort of maroony brown, which I thought, hmm, that will definitely work with my colour scheme. So now I'm bringing that in. and I think I think the idea of bringing in a bit of a darker colour was a good one because it's it's almost almost framing what I've got going on there and I'm really just concentrating on the parts do you see how that color comes out isn't it just magical oh so so clever <laughs> not me the you know the, the media <laughs> but yes don't you see that that makes quite a bit of a difference having brought in that darker color now it uh yeah I think it just makes it a bit more striking and then I figured okay well I need a few more splatters in that color so I get some big blobs big wet blobs going on there which is fine I dried them they dried fine and I had left this in because I think obviously this helps with the the gluing on the back but I think the fact that I put so much on that also stretches out your piece of paper before you've even put it onto the background you know your your back cardstock so yeah nice tip for that and again as I said I did not put any text of course I put texture paste on I did not put any gesso on this layout and look how flat it is you would have thought it would have buckled it while well, I did a little bit there but but no it was really quite flat oh okay sorry that was a bit um a bit jittery but I was showing you the photo there that is my hubby this particular Kruger trip is is slightly different to the previous ones that I've been scrapping it we went a couple of months later and we got to stay in this in this uh well there were houses on stilts because it was right in the middle of the Kruger National Park and there's no fence as you can see elephants just come wandering past and go down to the watering hole no worries whatsoever and obviously the obviously the, it's it's a safe it's it's safe you can stay there you're not going to get attacked by a lion or or a leopard or anything like that which you know wouldn't have minded a lion walking down below there that would have been really cool but no we had the elephants but it it is perfectly safe and it was beautiful and yeah which is where i which is why i entitled this i was going to go with just another day in paradise but then i looked at those maggie holmes gather the gold words and that one said something about remember the moment or share the moment 
or what does it say? Cherish the moment. There we go. Cherish, cherish this moment in paradise, which I thought tied in very nicely with the fact that it really was like being in paradise. We could stand there all day and watch the elephants. And this, I thought, initially I used those numbers because I had them left over and I didn't have too many embellishments left to put on this layout. And I thought, okay, well, they, the, the colouring kind of goes. So I put them on, well, when I got the six the right way around, I put them on and I thought, hmm, that looks okay. And then I looked at that sheet and there's this phrase which has something about about only knowing the value of the memory when it becomes a moment or only only knowing the value of the moment when it becomes a memory something like that and I thought well doesn't that just tie in beautifully because value numbers you know yeah okay I know you got it <laughs> so I was really really chuffed with that too it's just nice when a layout just comes together so nicely and now I'm going to put a few of these indigo hill Pink Fresh Studio hearts on. They're really pretty. And I I think in the end the configuration is slightly different in my in my final layout because when I came to glue everything down, obviously I moved everything off and, and hadn't taken a picture of where I'd placed them. So I just put them again where I thought they, they looked good. So it was roughly, roughly this configuration. And now I'm thinking what else have I got that I can add? And I do take some of those hearts off because there's too many of them. You can see it's, it's not working there. It's too many. And I thought, okay, I still have enamel dots left. Yay! <laughs> so I can add a bit more dimension to, to this layout. So I stick a couple around and then I didn't like the pink on there because it kind of made it look dirty. And then, so I've got some yellow on. And I'm thinking, where should I put him? So I'm um, you know, faffing around with the placement of them. And I'm thinking, do these green ones go? And, th and I thought, okay, well, it's nice to bring in another color. So I thought, yes, they do go. And then I had a, and then I had a, a moment of sheer brilliance. Yep, wait for it, wait for it. Here we go. I figure, ah, that's what I should be doing. I should be putting the enamel dots on the splatters in a random formation. <laughs> So I quite like that, actually. And I think there's only one more thing I do, and then we are done. This is a lot longer video than I'm used to, so I'm, I'm amazed that I've actually been able to speak for so long. Hmm. Quite, quite something. <laughs> so I had that gap at the, at the top there, between the four and the five. So I figured, all right, let me just do a quick tab just to give that last bit and to add in one more of those gold gold words and it's just a couple of hearts because well I've got a heart theme going on here anyway and so I figured that just finished it off and there we go there's my layout so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed seeing quite a lot of the process of the background oh and I did some sewing see yeah and well that that was good Thank you for watching and I wish you a wonderful day and we will chat again soon. Bye bye.